Hi, TWR Manchester Phoenix TV. This is a show that brings you Manchester's premier and fastest sports team, the Manchester Phoenix. I'm here tonight with Andy. Uh, the other two are swanning it in Prague tonight, Andy. So it's up to us. Yeah, I think they'll be as cold as we will. Yeah, I think so. Pretty freezing in here. Right, uh, tough game against Hull tonight, but let's talk a little bit, a little bit about last night down in Telford. We gave them a really, really good game and. Uh, they were worried for a long, long time, and a few unfortunate calls went against us, cost us a game. Well, bearing in mind the last time we went there, we were on the wrong end of a 9-0 thrashing. I think it uh, shows uh, improvement. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't go. I was on babysitting duties, but I was listening to it on Telford's radio, and even their uh, commentators admitted we were getting robbed. Yes, I mean, it, it, they seemed to intimidate some calls out of uh, the referee. Uh, eventually, he was calling them, and two five on threes, all four penalties were tripping. It, uh, strange one, really. Yeah, it sounded as, I mean, you know, if you, you can see four power play goals, obviously five on five, even strength, we were, were more than matching them and, and you know, scored most, I think scored at least two of our goals, mm -hmm. even strength. So, yeah, it's, it's a shame. It's, uh, I think, it, although it's a defeat, it's a result that gives us heart for the rest of the season. Certainly does. And, of course, we had new boy here, Martin Baranek, uh, from the Czech Republic, came in for his first game, and he impressed a few people. Yeah, they were singing again. They were singing his praises on Telford Radio. Um, they said he looked very skillful, very quick, and um, you know, sometimes out of adversity, who knows? He, we, we might have picked up a guy that that can give a better offensive output than uh, than Nico did. Tony just turns them out, doesn't he? <laughs> I, he does I don't it. know where he finds them from. Every yeah. time, I mean, I mean. Obviously, the Czech Republic is a hotbed of, of, of hockey and there are plenty of players, but, you know, you could count the number of, um, of, of duff foreign players that Tony's brought in on the hands of less than one hand. You know, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't bring in any, any bad players. I'm figuring that one out, but there we go. Fingers. Right, that was last night. Disappointed to come away with nothing. On to tonight. Holler on a bit of a turnaround. They're getting some results together on the back of... Uh, it's got to be said, an outstanding netminder in uh, Marty Wrightums from Latvia. Yeah, he's he's given them uh, a sense of stability. They've, they've two good British pickups in Nathan Salem and Jamie Chilcott from our friends down in Altrincham. Um, so they're a much changed outfit from 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 what started the season and a much different proposition now. Yes, I think so. It's going to be a tough game tonight, but. Uh, We've got to look positive and think we can get something out of it if we, if we get our lines firing. Yeah, I think I think with last night's result for uh, for them, they, they they climbed off the bottom for the first time this season. I think they've uh, I think Bracknell are down bot down at the bottom now. So, you know, they're looking upwards and and, and we're looking over our shoulders to Hull. So um, obviously we want to uh, we want to put in a, a performance and get a result. Right. Well, I think that's enough. I was rattling on for a little bit. Uh, let's go watch some hockey. Anyway, Thomas plays up the board. Baranek lets it run through his skates. Icing waved off, so Tom Stubbley will go back for the Pirates. Archer and then Kovar try to knock it loose. Plays a pass ahead. It's tipped by Gron, and O'Flaherty can flip it down into the zone. Kirk fires it off the boards. Gron will knock this one down and walk in. Back door is Satek. Good stop by Wrightham. Satek couldn't get quite enough of it. Wood looking for a tip from Gron. It'll bounce down into the corner. Baronek will bring this away, short-handed, finds Kovar right hand side, snaps a shot, Wrightums blockers it down and will have to cover up the rebound. It's Baronek to settle it down, plays it in front towards Satek, can he settle it down? He goes, good stop by Wrightums, the rebound hits the post. Satek just couldn't quite force it home, comes back out, Russell keeping shooting, tip comes in, save made by Wrightums and he will cover up for a whistle. Osman, he nicely works it through towards Town as Satek gets the stick in there to knock the puck loose and Ben Russell scoops it round the board. Hutchinson from the blue line, tip comes in, but it's a good stop made by Fone as Dominic Osman got a piece of it. And uh, nicely spins away from Jordan Fisher and finds Baronek right on side. He'll skate his way into the zone. Nice little turn and set up. Kovar shot off the post. Satek trying to force the rebound in. Kovar thought it was in, but it wasn't. Just comes off his stick. Cobbley settles it down and Osman will bring this one in on the left hand side for the Pirates. Snaps the shot straight into the chest of Stephen Fone and he will hold on for a whistle. Russell and then Kovar nicely flips it through. And down the right-hand side comes Martin Baranek. Hutchinson will force him wide as Baranek makes a little turn around the hash mark. Ben Wood walks in from the point gloves, save Martin Wrightums. Settled down and played ahead towards Towner. Good stick in there from Ben Wood and the puck will break towards Gron. He'll have to do it all on his own. Which he does, he shoots, he scores! 
Stan Gron, there was nothing on. Five Pirates there and only Gron on his own. But he flings it and picks out the tippy top corner on Martins Rytums. On the balance of the period, it's no more than the Phoenix deserve. It's Manchester 1, Hull 0. Second period underway then. The Phoenix leading by a goal to nil. Nathan Salem throws one wide of the glove hand of Stephen Fone. Archer not able to clear it up the boards. Salem flips towards the front. Good stop by Fone on Tommy Lane. Behind the net, so Archer will cover the D as Thomas tries to centre him pass. It comes straight back to him off the skate of Tom Stubbley. Thomas holds Archer one timer. Good stop made by Wrightums with the stick. That was nicely worked by the Phoenix as Archer got out towards the blue line. Came off his shin pad. And the Pirates will bring this away. Salem into the zone. Holding shooting. Good stop with the left arm by Fone. Puck comes loose out in front. Phoenix get the sticks in the way. Lane lets it go and scores. Phoenix just couldn't recover it. It was an unkind bounce off the backboards that deceived Stephen Fone. And it's Tommy Lane who eventually settles it down and fires it in. The Pirates are level at one each. Hutchinson flips it through. It's off the stick of Corson Heron. James Archer with a bit of open ice. Snaps a shot and Wrightums will hold on for a whistle to play it back to the point there was a good stick in the way there and there is going to be a penalty called here pass in front chance great stop by Wrightums James Archer had that virtually behind the goalie but Wrightums managed to flip the glove out and make the save Thomas long pass to find James Archer who finds Baronek left hand side lovely little move inside Tom Stubbley the Pirates just about recover but it's flipped through by Archer Kovar will hold behind the net Looks for Baronek in front, and he scores! Great patience by Kovar, timed it perfectly. Martin Baronek sneaks loose and fires it past the glove. It's a home debut goal for Baronek, and the Phoenix lead 2-1. Knocked past Russell by Tommy Lane, and away comes Nathan Salem. Could be a two-on-one for the Pirates. Salem walks in, flips it across, and there's the equaliser. Warren Tate it is. Ben Wood just caught in two minds whether to play the shot or the pass, and it was floated across by Salem. Tate tips it in, and it's 2-2. Third period is underway with the score at 2-2. Puck bobbles up the boards. Thomas finds Baronek. He sweeps it through towards Kovo. Nicely banks it off the board. Baronek drives his way into the zone. Puck just rolled away from him, and he loses his edge and falls hard into the boards. That slick, wet ice does for the Phoenix player as Salem walks in. Good play by Boothroyd, and it's forced in. Well, Luke Boothroyd played the two-on-one perfectly, but unfortunately the puck came off his leg straight back to Nathan Salem, and Stephen Fone was committed. Salem taps it into the empty net, and with 25 seconds gone in the third period, it's Phoenix 2, Pirates 3. Fone knocks it down, and Mark Thomas will bring it away for the Phoenix. Tries to play it to the right-hand side. Pocket pick by Nathan Salem, who takes a big shot. It's off the left arm of Stephen Fone. Gent as it bounces up into the Phoenix bench. And that will draw a whistle. Knocked it down and he's flipped it past Tom Stubbley. Satek holding, playing it across. It's just behind Robin Kovart. Russell smartly plays it down low. Kovart gets the stick free. It's Ben Wood from the blue line shooting. Bounces down in front, they score. I think Lee Bonner's tipped that one into his own net. It was thrown towards the net by Ben Wood. Was it Bonner, was it Satek? It doesn't matter. Wrightums was helpless and it's 3-3. As Grom picks the puck up behind the goal line, plays it towards Russell, who's well tied up as he tried to get his shot away. Satek turning, looking for a tip in front. Gron, lovely move, and he just couldn't force it home. Wrightums was beaten as Gron dragged it through his own skates. Satek's knocked that one down nicely at the line. Gron with a little move. He'll try and generate an angle backhand through the crease and out the other side. Backhands it through towards Thomas. Thomas towards the net. Wrightums paddles it away. Satek will get back to his feet and hustle across. Tries to kick the puck through. Baronek's in there as well. And it's Baronek who comes away with the puck. Tries to work his way out front. Still going on his backhand and scores! Martin Baronek just wouldn't lose the puck. He goes through the Pirates. Backhands it through the legs of Marty Wrightums. Four on four goals. Second of the game for Baronek. And it's Phoenix four, Pirates three. To Grom. Nice little backhand pass and away comes Michael Satek. Tate. Back there, Satek drives past him, tries to flip the backhander in as he did on Orsins earlier in the season, but it doesn't quite go in. Just squirts free, it's an ill-advised pinch by Ben Wood, and Bonner comes into the zone. 
drop back, walking in. It's Osman, good block by Satek. Puck bounces down, played towards the front of the net. Foe making the save, scrambled in and they score. Lee Bonner it is, who's forced it in. The Phoenix didn't recover at the back from the scrambled play. And Bonner's managed to tuck it past Stephen Foam with a minute and 55 to go. It's 4-4. The Pirates can bring this away. Tate will take as much time as he can as he just gains the red. Plays it across the ice. Lane into the zone. Shoots and scores. Tommy Lane goes high. Glove side on Stephen Phone. In off the crossbar. With a minute and three, 13 seconds to go. The Pirates take the lead for the first time in the game. It's Phoenix four. Pirates five. Gron across to Thomas. Who dumps it in. Phoenix will chase in after this. But they're going to run out of time here. And the whole Pirates with a late, late show, have stolen the two points. Two goals in the penultimate minute of the game have swung it the way of the visitors, and the Hull Pirates will take the two points back to East Yorkshire. The final score is Manchester Phoenix 4, Hull Pirates 5. I'm here with... Uh... Hull's man of the match, Warren Tate, uh, a name a lot of you'll know for over a, if you're as old as I am, all around the place, and uh, nice bit of support from your teammates there. Warren, good win tonight for you. You're picking up some good results. You're, they seem to be st steady in the ship. Yeah, I think uh, obviously we're, we're proven to be a bit more consistent now. I think uh, from the beginning of the year, obviously with a young team, um, I think it was experience that we were lacking. Um, it's starting to come through a bit more now. Um, obviously tonight was a game that probably could have gone either way um, but it was fortunate for us that we got the breaks Yes and of course you you lost one good netminder and you seem to have been a cracking one back I mean again age is coming into I remember him playing for Latvia in the World Championships Yeah I say Marty's uh, great goalies and again um, buckets of experience which I think again we were lacking earlier on uh, which he's brought on for, uh, well, the rest of the guys and the younger guys. Well, you did something as well that uh, teams are finding it tough to do. You picked up a couple of good British lads just, just recently. That makes a difference at this time of year. Yeah, uh, obviously we've just brought on Jamie Chilcott, who's been a massive, um, well, massive for us at the back. Um, and then obviously Salem uh, around the net is one of, well, one of the best younger British players that I've seen out there. Well, you're off the bottom this weekend and... Uh, looking upwards and we're looking over, over our shoulders at you now. Yeah, I say it's uh, our first four-point weekend. Um, obviously, it's great to be off the bottom of the table um, and obviously we're, we're looking to get as high as we can and work on the playoffs. And that eighth place is going to be a bit of a battle now. There's a, still a long, long time to go. Yeah, I say there's a few months left and it's going to be, be hard work. And with our skipper, Luke Boothright, look, it all seemed to go wrong just at the end there. We turning over the puck a few times. Uh, yeah, I think obviously we've got to be mentally strong right to the end and, you know, just do the little things right like we've done all game and uh, keep that going for the four sixty 60 minutes. Uh, also, we had a few chances, you know, we ringed a couple off the post and bow and, you know, if it had, you know, maybe gone in, it would been a different story. But, yeah, we have, we have got to come together as a team and, uh, you know, do the little things right all, all through the game. It's just those little errors maybe at the end that, are, that cost us sometimes here. Yeah, I was just, just sort of thinking along the lines of, you know, the goal is a top-class group uh, netminder. He made the saves. He, he, rode, he made his own luck as well by making the saves, but we're hitting far too many pipes, aren't we? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, we still scored four goals, so, you know, if we can, you know, as, as a team, if we can keep, you know, you know, less than three or three, you know, you've always got to give yourself a chance to win, but... You know, I guess we can't, as a, as a team, you know, not one individual, but as a team, we can't really in, you know, five goals in, particularly late ones like that. Um, but yeah, uh, there's still some chances. We are creating chances, and you know, a couple of bounces go our way. Then you know, I think we'll bounce back next week. I think we've got to remember as well the amount of effort we've had to put in so short bends for so long. I mean, it takes its toll. And it takes a bit, a bit of time to recover. Just getting an extra guy on the ice doesn't make it all right. Well, I know. I mean, there's, there's no excuses at all. You know, we've played short bench. We're, you know, we're used to that. So, you know, we adapt, and you know, we're always going to work hard, and you know, give it everything. You know, whether we've got you know seven guys or 15 guys, you know, whatever. So, you know, obviously, um, you know, Martin's coming and been a big help, as you can see tonight and last night. 
Um, so I think we're only going to go, you know, up really. Well, that's what we're looking for. Let's hope it does. Uh, Beijing Stoke doesn't get any easier. Let's focus the mind next week and get on with it. Yeah, ab absolutely. It's a tough place to go, but you know, we we love a challenge. So uh, you know, we'll be ready for it. So uh, go down there, give it everything, and you know, who knows. Look, thanks very much. A game we looked in control of for long periods, had them under an awful lot of pressure, hitting every bit of metalwork that is going, and uh, we've come out on, on the end of a defeat. Yeah, on another night, I mean, we could have been out of sight. We'd, I think we hit the pipework at least four times that I can remember, um, uh, and it came out, and... You know, the, the more often you do that, you sometimes get that feeling, is it really going to be our night or is it going to be another one of those nights? And, uh, yeah, it's a disappointing result. Um, I thought the performance for long periods was OK. Um, but we just, you know, when we went ahead, we just couldn't get that extra insurance goal and, and ultimately that's what cost us two late goals. Yeah, I mean, talking to Coach, Coach Hand uh, there last night, a lot of positives uh, from the defeat. He says, uh, uh, certainly some negatives from tonight. Uh, coughing the puck up, sort of what you call some irresponsible plays uh, by, by a couple of a couple of players. Then these are things we've got to cut out. We're we're in a dogfight at the bottom. Yeah, it was disappointing. I mean, we were, I think we were four three up and then got a power play and 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 really did nothing with it. You know, just just sat back and invited Hull on and. You know, had we gone for it and pressed home the advantage and maybe got that 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 fifth goal, and then it's game over, uh, and it's come back to, to to bite us on the backside. And and I can understand his frustrations tonight. That was a game we should have won and and and, and should have won re reasonably comfortably. Yes, well, we just need to look on now. That's it's over with. Tough one again on Saturday. Basing Stokes never easy, and then uh, Swindon. They've taken over from me as the running gun team from Peterborough of, of before, and they not that not that great at the back, but tremendous going forward. You never know what you're going to get with Swindon. I mean, some nights they're 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 absolutely dreadful. Some nights they they look like a, a team that can beat anybody. And uh, yeah, they've got lots of firepower. Um, we've we've got to be stronger at the back, um, uh, and uh, and hopefully hit them going forward. But um, yeah, I mean, Hull are creeping up to us now, so we, we've we've got to start picking up wins against teams around us, uh, if not against teams up at the top of the league, who we tend to play better against anyway. So. We just need points. We need to get the points. Yeah, in. yeah. Well, that's it for tonight. Uh, don't forget, you can follow the team on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and just about every social media that is going, and of course on Phoenix TV, which um, our erstwhile Cameron says will be out fairly soon. Well, that's it. Next week, next Sunday, Swindon Wildcats with a half-past six face-off. See you then.